me as a woman, I when I'm watching things on TV or reading, you know, I often look at how female characters are portrayed mm-hmm. and what's their what's their role. Well, it's always in the, piece. the the Bishdale test, isn't it? The, the, the uh, Alison Bish- Bishdale. Bish- yeah, the yeah. Bishdale test. There's like you um, that that you should apply to all screenplays. I, I think we've actually talked about this before, but it's for your film or play or whatever to pass the Bishdale test, um, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, it has to have two female characters having a conversation for more than a couple of minutes uh, that's not about a male character. Um, and that, that if you have that, then you pass the Bishdale test, which basically says, you know, you've got... It's a, it's a starting point for having decent female characters in your film. Well, but, uh, look, I mean... Part of me kind of goes, it's a lovely idea, but then doesn't it depend on the content? I'm sure that didn't happen in Saving Private Ryan because <laughs> that wasn't the content of the movie. It wasn't about, you know, women having a, you know, a longer than two minute voice. It was about six or eight or 11 men trying to go save another man in the middle of a war. So I sometimes hear those sorts of things and I think, good intention, but. For me, it always comes back to what are they trying to achieve? Oh, what yeah, is the content? It's not like yeah, yeah, yeah. saying if you don't pass this, no, you I won't get, get funding, sort of thing. I get it. Private, I get private, it. But private. but no, but there is a lot of times where people say, you know, you know, such and such and such and such isn't represented. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, maybe this is not a film that involves those people. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe this is a film about a, a sector of society where that group of people, male, female specific ethnicity mm-hmm. tall short fat um, handicapped in some way mm-hmm. maybe they're not a part of the storyline because you know what uh, my storyline today mm-hmm. if i was to write the story of my story today mm-hmm. i don't know because it's not finished yet but yeah. there's probably a very good chance i won't come across a disabled person so if i was going to write my story of today there's but at the end of the day probably there's no disabled people in that story sure but this comes back to uh, you know, I entirely agree with you on that. I think um, again, who gets to tell the stories? Who gets through the door in the first place? Yep. Who gets to sit around writers' tables? Who's what playwrights get their work on main stages? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I have talked in the past about um, when I was in sixth form, mm-hmm. back when we had forms <laughs> at school, um, we studied. Um, Renee's play Wednesday to Come. Mm-hmm. Now I I w- wasn't a particularly stupid girl, but before then it never I don't think I'd ever had in front of me a book of a play that actually published by a woman, let alone a woman in New Zealand. Wow. And that was a real light bulb moment me as a 16-year-old to think, oh, women can write plays and have them published and put on professionally it's difficult to emulate what you can't see yeah so therefore therefore let's use my silly um, anecdotal example of my day today Mm -hmm. Um, that would be written by a cisgender white male Mm -hmm. and it wouldn't likely involve any disabled people Mm -hmm. probably no transgender people Mm -hmm. um, and that would be the story yeah should I therefore writing that story include those characters for today to make it more diverse to make it more so a transgender child will see it and feel included or should i speak truth to my day i know it's a silly example but you know i'm working through this yeah yeah, yeah. and look there aren't hard and fast answers yeah, yeah. and i you know i'd say stick to the truth of your day but also interrogate it and one comeback i might have for you is you could say technically you're sitting across the table from someone with a disability mm-hmm. and that um, I have no pituitary gland anymore it's been oh. new, yeah so I like before I came in here I have to take um, steroids three times a day because I don't make sufficient my body doesn't make sufficient cortisol right anymore so you wouldn't know that without no. me um, telling you but that's a way of I suppose me saying look disabilities aren't all in a a wheelchair or very true yeah and and you i i don't know if so you, you were telling me a bit about yourself before we went on air about these why you have these spinny ball things because i'm distractible yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i wouldn't necessarily have like have known that about you either well that's what we're and one so of the things like, we let's, do let's not have um, these conversations. stereotypes about yeah you know what is a disability or what is yeah or what is any 
character or what person. Is any, what is any illity with whatever the word? What is any ism? 